Welcome back to the channel. I'm Don. And I'm Rachel. And this is Living on the Apex. And in today's video, we're taking you guys along on our first winter camping trip this season. Not only that, but we're going to share with you five undeniable reasons why you should winter camp. And we want you to stick around for number five because it is by far our favorite reason why you ought to go winter camping. But also after that, we're going to just be honest with you about winter camping as well, especially our experiences on this trip. So thank you so much for watching. And please, if you can help us out, subscribe, like, and share this video. We're getting really close to a thousand subscribers. We appreciate all of you that just keep coming back. And we look forward to that giveaway that's coming at the 1,000 mark. Once again, whenever you're camping, it's always a challenge to choose the best site. We have a lot of options here, don't we? Yeah. But we think we found probably the most beautiful one to set up our camp. And our dog just peed in the middle of where we're putting our tent. <laughs> Lovely. But look at this. This is where we're going to camp. Is that gorgeous or what? Well, the sun is going down, and we don't have a whole lot of time to get this thing completely set up before it's down, but we've got the tent up, as you can see. It actually went up fairly quickly. I think we probably set it up in less than 10 minutes. That's pretty quick for a bell tent, a 13-footer. Rachel's inside getting the cots all put together. We have one that's not working. <laughs> One's not working? So oh, there's a piece in the bottom. You gotta like slide it. There's a piece down there. This tent has plenty of room to set up. We're gonna watch a movie tonight. Right over there on the side of the wall. I'll let Rachel keep working on that. I'm gonna go get the fire pit out and the table set up and get ready to start cooking. Fire starter, waterproof bag. This is our protection. It's mat that goes underneath the uh, stove, and there's the stove. Oh, that's something. Put the dampener right here. You ready? Put that on. So one reason to camp in the winter is because winter is magical. Everything's different. Everything looks different. It's coated in white. Sometimes in ice, things are quieter. Tonight, the full moon's going to come out and the snow's going to glow. Um, winter's just a beautiful time of year. 
What'd you find? I just found a painted rock in the water. What? I like rocks. <laughs> Right in the water, that's so beautiful. <laughs> We've got everything set up, the stove's set up, the tent is up, of course, and so we're gonna get a fire going inside the tent, warm it up. It's 22 degrees out. It's 7.30 at night. What do you think so far? How warm is it in here? It's like 45 degrees. 49. Lady Bell's trying to find a nice comfy position. She's really struggling. Yeah. I don't blame her. Well, we had to go get some rocks out of the river because the bottom was getting so hot that it was smoking this mat, which is supposed to be fireproof, and it was smoking hot. So we're going to start bringing some bricks to set that stove on because it just doesn't sit up high enough. going to start off the day for you guys sharing with you the second undeniable reason why you should be winter camping and that is it's a challenge <laughs> it is a challenge and you know what it's awesome to get out there and to try things and you literally are surviving you're trying to keep the fire going it is probably in the teens this morning I haven't checked the temperature outside, but I know when we woke up, the fire was out. And it was 25 degrees in the tent. And so there's just a challenge to it. Getting through the snow, uh, chopping the firewood, getting the fire going. Uh, keeping the fire going is probably the biggest challenge. But you know that ultimately your life kind of depends on it to some extent, even if you do have good sleeping gear and good warm clothes. What would you say? Is there any other additional challenges? No, just staying warm is the biggest challenge. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely just trying to stay warm. Trying to gather more firewood this morning. It was so cold, we burned a lot of wood. That entire tote last night full of firewood is gone. 
so we still have a lot that we brought but I don't know if it's enough to make it through the night so I may have to go saw some more wood We're having oatmeal. It's my favorite breakfast food. I think it's cinnamon and cherries too, huh? Oh, they like that. I've, I've fed them nothing but oatmeal the whole time. The third reason to go winter camping is because it's healthy. You see, it's not even Halloween yet. And look at how much snow we have, and it's 20 degrees outside. So we have almost as much cold weather as we do warm. And if we locked ourselves in our homes, we'd never get vitamin D. We never get our endorphins going. And so to make yourself get out and go winter camping is very good for your physical health and your mental health. So because we're running low on firewood, we decided rather than to burn up all our firewood in the middle of the day, we're going to go for a drive up the Mirror Lake Highway, which is usually, well, it closes, I think, sometime in November or when the snow gets real bad. So we're probably going to get one last drive over the Mirror Lake Highway and going to go check out Mirror Lake. We decided to stop at Provo River Falls. It's a beautiful waterfall and it's froze, some of it's frozen now, so. So this is what I mean about magical. We were just here one month ago. The sun was shining and this looked totally different one month ago. It's absolutely beautiful. We did not realize that these waterfalls just keep going and going. We were here in the fall and we only saw the big one up above us. So here we are exploring it now. It's so amazing. Come here, hand. We're almost to the top of Mirror Lake Highway to the pass. It's like 10,500 feet. I think it's called Bald Mountain Pass. Rachel and I just hiked that mountain, broke our record, almost reached 12,000 feet. You should check out that video. I'll post a link to it right here and also in the description. But also, let me just share with you that don't go doing winter camping unless you're prepared for it. And I also just put out a video of the 16 reasons. I know I said 10 at the beginning, but 16 items that you need to have with you to be safe. And so go check out that video as well. I'll post it up here and also in the description. And we'll see you at the top of this pass. Fourth undeniable reason why you should try winter camping is because it's peaceful. 
It is just complete solitude. It's amazing. All you can hear is the the snow falling from the trees. You can hear the river flowing and you hear nothing else. You don't get that in too many other seasons other than winter. Not too many people are crazy enough to get out here or brave enough or whatever you want to call it, but it is peaceful. I'm going to go ahead and cook us some lunch, and I'm doing the Mongolian barbecue for lunch because last night we ran out of time, and we just cooked hot dogs. They were great, and they were tasty. Note to self, just know that your oil is going to freeze when it's that cold. Well, that's fine. Put some oil on that, baby. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing it anywhere close to the guys. <laughs> So number five, it is by far our favorite one. Right, babe? Right. It is just fun. Winter camping is fun, and there's just a lot that you can gain from it as a couple, for your marriage, just, just enjoying life. I know her and I, have we've been empty nesters for about five, six years now, and we raised three amazing kids, and now we have four grandsons, and it's just her and I and Lady Bell, our dog. It is fun. I think it's fun. Um, it's fun to get outdoors. It's fun to drive the Jeep. It's fun to see new things. Um, to be in the tent cold and, and get warm. Watch a movie. Hike around. Maybe do a polar plunge. Have a snowball fight. <laughs> eat some good food. It just breaks up the monotony of being in the house in the evenings. For sure. Thanks, hon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Undeniable reasons to go winter camping. Anyway, yes. we need to mess that all up. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll do it over there. Well, we're all packed up and about to head out. We thought we'd go ahead and share with you guys our honest uh, opinion about a few things. Uh, number one, our little stove is just a little bit too small, too small for our 13-foot bell tent. Last year we had a 10-foot bell tent, and the little stove got it up to 90-some degrees. Last night, the warmest I got it was 54 degrees. I hardly got any sleep because I kept having to stoke the fire. And it just wasn't cutting it. Now, that could be due to how cold it was. Got down to 19 degrees. We're also sitting at almost 9,000 feet. And, of course, fire doesn't burn as well at 9,000 feet. <laughs> <laughs> what else, hon? And just that the tent's bigger. Too much space to heat it up. So. Yeah, I mean, we love the tent. We just got to figure out a way to warm it up a little bit more effectively. Otherwise, it's not a hot tent camping trip. You guys are awesome. Thanks for sticking around for this. And we will catch you later in our next video.